What's up everybody? I'm Michael and this is Smiley Tech. And in this video, we're gonna take apart the Lenovo 15 inch IdeaPad 3, model number 81WE008HUS. We're gonna replace the RAM. We're gonna upgrade the hard drive, baby. So this model comes with the i3 1005G1, which is a dual core mobile processor, 1.2 gigahertz base, 3.4 gigahertz boost, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty quick. Now this little mobile processor is not too shabby. I'm actually pretty impressed. 15 watt TDP. This particular model comes with eight gigabytes of memory, 2666 megahertz. It comes with Windows 10 S mode, which is a more simplified version of Windows, usually for machines that aren't as capable. But I took it out of S mode because this thing can handle it. I mean, we're doing upgrades. We're going to be good with Windows 10 Home. It's going to be no problem. <laughs> this 256 gigabyte hard drive that we're going to replace is a 2242 uh, form factor NVMe SSD. This thing weighs 4. 0.07 poundages so you can throw it up on your head swing it around like a pizza you know what i'm saying so the first step in this upgrade is taking this m.2 ssd the nvme ssd enclosure and putting the new ssd drive into the enclosure You install the new one per the instructions that are included with the enclosure. You download a Coronas, which is what I did here. Uh, there it is, uh, Coronas, true image. And here, I think I just formatted the drive. Uh, these are just the steps that I took. So I went to, uh, disk management and just formatted the drive all right so you go through all the steps then you select clone disk first you will select the source hard disk so you're going to pick the one in your computer currently then you're going to pick the target hard disk which will be the new one that's in the enclosure and it will prompt you to restart your computer which you restart your computer, but be prepared to install the new hard drive directly after this. You know, just out of curiosity, uh, I tried to reboot and it didn't like it. It didn't reboot. I had to open it up and switch out these hard drives. It didn't erase the information that was on the existing drive, but I had to switch them out. That's just what it did. And maybe that's the right steps. So that's what happened. Here we are. You're going to take off the back panel by undoing these screws. You know? Then you're going to take a spudger or a guitar pick or whatever you have and kind of pick the sides until it pops and comes loose. Then you'll be able to get inside to the goods. Here we go. Look at this. So we now have the back off. And what I'm pointing out here is the, I guess it's the little copper piece. That's the low heat protection right there. There's the NVMe. Low heat protection from the NVMe hard drive because it gets a little toasty. Here we go. We're going to compare the two in size and I'll show you those again in a minute. First step when you have it open, take the battery out. Number one, disconnect the battery. It was easier for me to disconnect it by just removing it. So. That's what I did. That's what I'm doing. Mm, 
So you put your battery off to the side and you get to the fun stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pop off the CPU cooler, which is what I'm doing here. And I'll put some thermal grizzly thermal paste on there because while I'm in here, why not? <laughs> so the application on this CPU, they, they covered this stuff. You know, this is a bare die. So maybe that's why, I don't know. But it's a bare die CPU. There's no Tim, T-I-M on top of this thing. And there it is. So we're gonna put some Thermal Grizzly on there in a minute, but first we gotta clean it off. I'm gonna use some 91% alcohol. And there we go, baby. We're gonna clean this thing off, get it nice and shiny, and I'm gonna show you. I love watching these things get cleaned off. I don't know why, it's just a thing, but I included it in the video because it's fun. I just love this stuff. It's all fun to me. So here we are, wiper down. Let me get you a little zoom zoom so you can see what's going on. Now check it out, watch this. I love the way the alcohol dries up as you wipe it on. It's just very, <laughs> it's very fun to watch. <laughs> I love it. Here we go, there you go. Sped us up so you can see it evaporating. What a beautiful thing. Look at that, nice and shiny. i3, 1005G1 mobile processor with integrated graphics. Now we're gonna clean off the cooling solution included, which is basically just a copper tube with a plate and it sits right behind the fan. I guess the tube heats up and the fan blows the heat out. So there's your cooling solution for this particular laptop. Not much to it. I'm applying the Thermal Grizzly Thermal Paste, just like Der Bauer does. Don't question my technique. That's how I apply it. All right, we're gonna put this back on, y'all. And make sure you do it in a, make sure you screw this thing back on in a cross pattern, crossing like you would do your tire. Cross pattern, just the same way you would if you were to change your tires, which you guys probably already know that. So here's the old Sodem Ram stick. I zoomed in, you can see it's a 3200 megahertz stick. It's pretty impressive. So this stick, based on all the spec sheets that I looked at for this PC, it's at 2666 megahertz. So that's the stick that I bought. So maybe I hurt myself with that, I don't know. This thing, you can't run XMP on this, so. I guess I lost some speed. We're running at 2400. Oh well, it's a larger stick. So the capacity of this memory stick was supposed to be eight gigabytes. Somehow, somebody messed up. I bought eight gigabytes, paid for eight gigabytes. I was shipped a 32 gigabyte stick. Lucky me. So here's the old hard drive, NVMe M.2, 256 gigabyte. Pretty cool little thing. And there's the new Western Digital SN750 500 gigabyte that will be replacing it. Make sure you move your standoff from the shorter form factor to fit the larger. If you put a larger NVMe in, you wanna move that standoff back. And that's what I was screwing in there. So you put this thing in and you put this one little screw in the back. Boom, done. Look at that, boom, done. Easy. Yeah, this thing's, this little thermal pad's kinda small, but eh, I'm gonna stick it on there. <laughs> it's gonna be a little dinky one, should be fine. All right, so we put the battery back in and the upgrades are done. We have cloned the drive. We have switched out the RAM stick. We have switched out the hard drive. Easy peasy. That was so easy. And we also uh, switched out the thermal paste, which is nice. And by the way, I did say five degrees. I ran this thing in Cinebench R20, which took forever with a dual core processor. It takes forever, <laughs> of course. But it was five degrees cooler and I ran it over and over just to prove to myself, yep, five degrees cooler, I'll take it. So here, all I'm doing is I'm showing you that it's only showing 256 gigabytes because it cloned the drive. We know this is a 500 gigabyte drive. So we're gonna stretch this thing, we're gonna extend it. 
extend the volume. Make sure you do this step if you're going to a larger SSD. Right click, extend volume, check through that, you know, go next, 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 boom, boom, boom. Now, 500 gigabytes. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you feel more confident. I hope, you know, if you were looking for some information on the IdeaPad 3, the insights, here you go. Have a good one.